In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a JavaScript function that changes the fill color of an SVG object. So I'm going to call the function changeColor, and it's going to need two parameters, ID of the SVG that it's going to change the color of, and the color to change it to. Now the first thing will be to get the object from the document object model, let SVG equal document.getElementById ID and then to change the fill color to the specified color in the parameter we'll just do svg.style.fill equals color and that's now going to set the fill attribute of the CSS to the color passed through the parameter. Now in the PHP we're going to have to set each object to generate an ID and store that ID in the tag. The way I'm going to do this is define a variable id in shape object which the square and circle classes inherit from and then define a, a function which will set that id to a random collection of characters. I'm going to use the chr or character function combined with the randint function which takes a range to generate the random integer between and the ASCII values just for lowercase alphabet is between 97 and 122 that line right there is going to generate a random integer and convert it to a character from the ASCII tables and then I'm just going to write a for loop which will do this repeatedly to generate a whole string. This loop will run 10 times and I'll just copy that line and make it dot equals so it will append it to the ID each time in the loop. It's highlighting this because it might not find a valid source of randomness. So if you surrender it in, try catch. And in the case that it can't find a valid source of randomness, it will throw an exception E, which I'll just set to the ID of the object. Okay, so now that we've got the function set ID defined in the shape object, we can use it in the constructors of circle and rectangle objects. So I'll just call this set ID and that will run the function that we just wrote. So now in the get circle tag function of the circle object class, I can add into the tag ID equals this get ID. And that's going to set the ID that's generated to the ID of the HTML object. And I can do the same for the rectangle. Let's reload our page and view source. And the ID has been set to a random 10 letter string, which we're going to use to identify the objects in the JavaScript. For the change color function in JavaScript, we need a color for each object. So I'll define another variable in the shape object class called hover color and generate the getters and setters. And now in the circle tag, I'm going to add a onClick attribute to call the JavaScript function. So when I invoke the change color function, I'm going to put the first argument as this get ID, and then comma, and the second argument, I do get hover color. I'm going to add another event, which is on mouse out and I'm going to set it to when the mouse leaves the object to return the color to its original color. So I'll use the same change color method that we used on, ma on mouse over. Okay, now let's test it out. And it's working as desired. It changes to the hover color when the mouse is over it and when the mouse leaves it goes back to its original fill color.